of evil. Where does evil come from? asks the atheist. If there is a God, where does evil come from? And if you look at Sean's answer to that question, one thing becomes patently clear. And that's this. Sean is working from an assumption. An unspoken assumption. Something that I can only assume he wants to hide from us. He doesn't want to draw attention to this. It's a very simple assumption. His assumption is that God equals good. That's his assumption. He assumes the existence of God and he equates God with good. So nothing God does can be criticized. Everything God does has to be accepted as good and right. So when he presents his argument that God has done this, that God has given us free will, and that we then choose to go against God, the unspoken assumption is that going against God is by necessity evil. But let's just remove God from the equation. Now in our current reality there's only one way in which we can create living conscious beings and that is by becoming a parent. So imagine a parent who decides to do this. They decide to bring up their child and then present it with a choice. Either you do exactly as I tell you, or I will subject you to torture. But it's your own free choose choice. You can do what you want. But if you don't do what I want you to do, you will pay. What would you think of such a parent? I would despise such a parent. And if Sean wants to claim that the reason why God allows evil to exist is because he wants us to have free will, then I would despise his God as much as I would any such parent. His God is not beyond criticism and I would criticize his God severely and damn the consequences. 